Hello, thanks for stopping by. This is the last round of the first week of what I'm calling April's Grand Arena Champions. Uh, unfortunately, it's another auto-deployment, so if you don't want to watch that, I'm saying it now so you don't have to. Uh, there's a few things in this battle that were kind of interesting. Uh, fleets I experimented with and probably shouldn't have. I need to stop doing that, but I also need to learn how my fleets work. So I kind of need to keep doing that. Maybe I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, it's also weird fighting auto-deploy fleets because there's just random ships that you just don't expect to see. But without further ado, hope you enjoy, and here's the round. Okay. So my lighting got a little bit worse as the light bulb in my light burnt out. At some other date. But we've got a grand to do. So my opponent went... And auto deployed. That means he auto deployed every single round. Well, that's a bit of a feels bad. So yeah, he he joined Grand Arena and then just doesn't care. Because this is yeah, this is round. Yeah, Vader, Revan, Revan, Bug. Yeah, it's not. So yeah, that means he auto-deployed the first round, the second round, and out the third round. So, I guess I'm gonna try and kill with Stormtrooper and their variants. I don't know how much I can get this done. Because his auto play should be almost all geared, all characters. Okay. Let's clear the top end first. Uh, I believe the speeds on his characters were. Not that scary. Yeah, 28 speed on Darth Revan. Thirty-eight speed with a speed set no less. I just I don't understand that. It's like, if you put in the amount of time or money that he had to to get his roster to the level that it's at, why do you not take the time to learn how to properly mod characters? Okay. So you don't take the time to learn how to properly mod characters. And you also aren't taking the time to actually compete in the, the competitive portion of the game. It's like, I just... I don't get that. You're not gonna put in any kind of effort to something that obviously requires effort. But why play it at all? I don't know. That might just be me. He gets enjoyment out of it. More power to him, but... I feel like if I had, if my roster looked like this, I would be more frustrated enjoying. But that might just be me. Uh, there's a kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna Jedi Red. Mostly because I want to focus down CLS first, and then Geonesian Brood Alpha. Uh, CLS is really the only damage this team has. So I would like him to 
not exist anymore. I always forget that his AoE only calls people with buffs to assist. I was so used to him being in a Padme lineup and just always having buffs. Let's clean the stun. And... Uh, I have to wait for my next mark to go after Brigalpha. Hey, it's my next mark. This one might take a day. Because I have to get through Brute Alpha and uh, his friend's health, and he's got the lead buff. have the most damaging abilities. You know what? This I just don't know, please. This is such a tanky Kylo. I don't want boss to get in the way. Chewie, you die first. I was thinking of Conquest where I could just infinite loop that. Just stun before Boss takes a turn. There we go. Goodbye, Yoda. Huh. That was clean. Treya, Palp, and Shakti. that with my own shock team. Definitely want Rex. I just... Fives 
counterattacks, so that's kind of bad. Echo attacks out of turn a lot, so that's kind of bad. I think we're gonna take the Arc Trooper. I mean, I don't think it's enough attacks out of turn for Treya's lead to impact me all that much. I'm also gonna go for Alp first. You know, we're gonna love Treya first. I don't want her isolating anyone. I really need to get my Arc Trooper's gear level up. Just is not doing enough damage. So he has the Shakti Zeta, and I still don't have that Zeta. Oh. Alright, one more turn to another area. By Shakti will not be missed. Last aerial advantage. Can I kill him before? Nope. Should only need these two. Don't you think like that? I will love you endlessly. B one is mostly here just so Karina's can die real quick. Here's a full HP. Goodbye, Kenobi. This should be a full banner run. Ah, Bastila. Sure! Oh, no, wait. Bastila has a stun. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get eared by Bastila falling either. See if the father son duo can do it. Because I don't think there's going to be any knight I really need to care about. Alright. Sad. Sad. We have fear. Now we have to sit here and be sad. Okay, the father son duo is. Not gonna be able to do this. Not even worth it. Um, X 
execute might kill you go off. It doesn't, but it's Django Duo, which means I get to swap or get counting on his resolve back. So close to killing her. Okay, protection. Jango kills, he gets full protection back. Alright, so this father-son duo managed it. That was a lot closer than it needed to be. Ah, Thrawn. Probably don't need him. But, I don't, at this point, I don't think it matters. I'm gonna kill Django first. Jeez, Vader. Is that really necessary? I mean, she takes a turn, she dies. Is she gonna take. Nope, Vader gets to cut off her head. Ay, oh, Vader, man. If you don't have a relic, Vader, I. I can't recommend it enough. Alright. I want a team where I can get Imperial Trooper kills. Uh, I don't want to do it against Dooku or Han. We're going to try it here. So we're going to do Veers and then two actual troopers. Veers typically doesn't get the kills in that, so we're going to do Range and Snow. This is all for the feet to get trooper kills. Alright. Adme, I kinda want you to die first. I don't want fears to get the kill. Oh, Veers! Why, Veers? Why have you betrayed me so? It's actually the range trooper you need that's going to happen. Alright, we got one kill. Now, can troopers even kill Kylo? I genuinely don't know the answer to that. And I think it's going to be a fast... No. I am getting there. Never mind. We are no longer getting there. Level one. I mean, maybe with the death mark from. Although well, death mark doesn't work on Kylo. This is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this? Now we're gonna give it to you so that you can potentially get more stuns. I don't even get to apply death mark because the enemies were already dead. This is 
heal him, did he? I don't I don't have the damage. Although if I can keep him stun locked for all eternity, then I win. Just just keep attacking, Death Trooper! Okay, we got one more kill. Okay. Uh, well, Malik's gonna solo something. Gas is gonna solo something. And yeah, Malik, you're gonna solo this. So I'm really not scared of Rex. I'm more scared of Sabine right now than Rex because Sabine's gonna put dots on me. I guess here. So I'm kind of just expecting the counterattacks to win me the fight. I could have soloed something better, but... I kind of just need to bend this. Do the roly poly. He's just gonna go buff on as soon as I hurt him. Alright, I can buff him in. Get back here. all the squads. I just need to clear the fence, which he didn't have Negotiator or Malevolence, I think. Yeah, no Negotiator or Malevolence, so I'm not expecting this to be all that challenging. Just because I think it'll be entertaining, I'm even going to use First Order against his better fleet. I recently watched on and 
Typically, I've been putting ESF TIE Fighter, but he actually likes putting in the First Order TIE Fighter. And you don't get the target locks because uh, he only applies... So, explain this better. One of Hux's abilities is at the start of battle, it gets speed, but all First ally Order allies active at the start of the battle have their reinforcement abilities activated, but debuffs from them will not be inflicted. So having the First Order TIE Fighter means you only get half of its uh, effect, because you don't get the target locks. But the 15% turn meter is what enables it to go first in a lot of matches. So I kind of agree that is probably better. And now I need to gear that one up instead of that one. Because I thought it was the other way around that you wanted this one. And I think it's, if you need the speed, you want the First Order TIE Fighter. If you need damage, you want the SF TIE Fighter. Uh, I have no idea what else to do. Doesn't, I don't think it matters. This is either going to go well or go horribly, and I'm not sure which. Of the targets, I'm going to try and deal with Solar first. next. Oh, there's a houndstooth. I was not expecting there to be a houndstooth. That's bad. Hey, we here because I want more damage to here. Well, I'm not going to get through that taunt. It's just such a long time in Vader and his execution. Pick my team apart. Still got Breach, so there's no point. Okay. Uh, calling in him is useless right now. We're gonna get hunted on Vader. And then we're gonna kill Vader. And we're gonna go to sight. It'd be really sad that my executioner just explode. Alright. So yeah, how if it wasn't for Houndstooth, I think I could have won that. Any, any other taunt, I think I would have been fine. Tarkin, I feel like we're going to go with the... He is a very rebel-heavy fleet right now, so we're going to go with... High bomber and some bounty hunters.
Rebels, Rebels hate burning. Also, that sounds a lot more maniacal when I said it aloud than I thought it would in my head. Huh. I need to stop messing about with ships. I didn't even take out a single ship. Alright, let's just finish off. This should be more. Because thankfully, Thrawn ended the battle with his ultimate, so it's on max cooldown again. Executioner, you die first. Really? Landed the signal. That means how stupid dies first. Really? You guys did just not enough. There we go. I only get to do this baby. By executioner. There we go. Alright, can I clean this up? I genuinely don't think I can. There's no synergy. We're just gonna bring in the top end of my ships. I think I'll get two activations. That's my bet. This is one. This is two. I'm gonna get more than two actually. Yeah, this is three. Oh, that was a good dodge, but okay, I got three activations. And that will prevent me from full clearing. But I'm gonna upload this because as an auto defense, there's no way he's getting through my defense. So, I will win this week. There'll be an extra day between the next... Well, there'll probably be functionally two days because I'm going to post this one. Already. There'll be two extra days before the next video because, well, there's the day off in between as it sets up the new round. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time.